Okay, this is a uh, video in the series, uh, my electronic series on my playlists, uh, YouTube playlist. This is a gift for my daughter. This is a 19, late 50, early 60s vintage phonograph, suitcase phonograph. It's very small, about a foot in width by about 10 to 11 inches in, in depth and only about six inches thick. So it's a very small suitcase phonograph. Uh, there are two interesting facts about this particular player that most record players did not have in this era. And that is, first of all, it's a three-speed player. It, it looks like a 45 RPM player, and that's what I thought it was when I first got it. And then when I started fiddling with it, I realized it's a 33 and a third, 45 and 78. And so it runs in any one of those three speeds. Another unusual thing about this record player is that, let's see if I can get it open here. Let me, there we go. Uh, another unusual thing about this record player is that it was considered a DC, AC to DC electronic uh, configuration. This Selenium rectifier was new in this era, and it rectified, rather than using tubes to rectify uh, or convert the power from AC to DC, it used this Selenium rectifier. And so all the electronics in here operate on DC rather than AC current because of this rectifier. So for those of you electronics enthusiasts, you can appreciate the uh, new form of electronics that reduced the number of the, the uh, electronic components count, reduced the cost of manufacturing, supposedly re re uh, improved the reliability of the electronics, and um, which I, I believe it did because it reduced the, the need for uh, such high voltages in the uh, electronic circuits. It does have a tone control and on-off volume control here. And then um, we look at the rest of the uh, <clears throat> player. It's got the uh, plat uh, platter drive motor and, uh, of course, a speaker. <clears throat> and a little speaker chamber, as you can see here. Rather than mounting the speaker to the side of the record player, which was a too wide to do that, they put it on a, an angle, which was very clever, so they could make a smaller box. I've already had the platter off and cleaned up the drive components and re-oiled all of the wheels and the drives. But here's something that I wanted to show you that I'm going to, uh, uh, to emphasize. This particular unit used a rubber grommet in this hole. I'm having trouble holding all of this in the camera. Um, and this rubber grommet was what held the tone arm in place. So the tone arm came up through the hole here and um, so sorry for the shaky camera. The tone arm came up through the hole here, was shoved into a rubber grommet and then there was a, a nut and washer that crushed that grommet and gave it a little bit of insulation isolation from the vibration of the box and prevented some feedback because the vox would vibrate because the speaker is here the at a certain frequency that vibration will be carried through into the tone arp and create a feedback loop so they put a rubber grommet in here to prevent that problem and uh, what i'm going to do since i don't have a rubber, rubber grommet to replace it <clears throat> the rubber grommet wherever it is Somewhere here, maybe on the floor. Oh yeah, there it is. <clears throat> this is what's left of the grommet. You can see it's just completely hardened and it's just shot. So the tone arm just flopped on the in the wood. What I'm going to do is 3D print a grommet that fits in here and will tighten up. And it won't give it any insulation, isolation properties uh, physical isolation, uh, but I may be able to print one in a rubberized material. It's called flex material, 
So if I can get a plastic one to fit and work, then I'll switch over to a uh, flexible material and pl a flexible rubberized grommet for an antique record player. So once again, what can you use your 3D printer for? There you go. So the rubber tires on the drives are a little worn and compressed, having set for years and years in one position. They've got little grooves in them, so the platter is not real quiet, as you will see in a moment once we get everything fired up. But I wanted to give you a preview of the record player while I'm working on it. I'll be back in a moment with a 3D printed grommet and we'll move from there. 